is a lot the studio channel is focused on simulation virtual physics lab so welcome to rotational dynamics what mean dynamics dynamics is a branch of mechanics concerned with the force that cause motion of a body okay so welcome to the moment of inertia at a point mass the moment of inertia i of a body is measure of the manner in which the mass of the body is distributed in the relation to the axis about which that body is rotating so the moment of inertia of a body is its rotation now inertia rotational inertia have the same meanings which is the moment of inertia of a body mean the rotational inertia of a body so this moment of inertia is depends on the mass of the body and the size of a body the shape of the body and which the axis is considered the axis is being considered so the moment of inertia of a point mass about the axis is given by moment of inertia is equals to the mass of bodies multiplied with the square of radius square of radius okay that's the distance between the axis of rotation axis of rotation to the point so the moment of inertia of a disk about the axis is given that moment of inertia is, is equals half of mass of the bodies multiplied by the square of radius and the moment of inertia of the sphere have it differ from the above that is about the axis is given by 2 over 5 m times the square of radius it is compressed the number of particles the number of particles about the axis of rotation is given by moment of inertia that equivalent with the sum of okay that the particles one up to n number of particles that m i r i square m i mean m1 r1 square plus m2 r2 square m3 r3 square and etc so here total moment of inertia is equal with i1 plus i2 plus i3 plus dot dot so this is the total moment of inertia of the n particles n number of particles about the axis the fixed axis of rotation so the kinetic energy of the work needed to accelerate a body of a given mass from the rest to is a velocity that is you know linear kinetic energy half of mv square within a linear motion so rotational kinetic energy of a body that is the total kinetic energy of the whole flywheel is just the sum of every particles the sum of every particles those particles have different speeds different speed but everyone has the same angular velocities the same angular velocities so n number of particles that have different velocities within different radius therefore kinetic energy total kinetic energy is equals 1 over 2 times m i r i square times omega square omega i square omega i is i mean the omega i is in a circular pattern the angular velocity is constant therefore omega 
square omega square omega square is a common one and half is also common for all of the equation so half of m1 r1 square plus m2 r2 square plus m3 r3 square here the rotation on bodies in the kinetic energy half of i times omega square here m1 r1 square mean the moment of inertia of a point mass point mass that is m r square m m r square mean m r square mean the moment of inertia of a point mass a point mass so the kinetic energy of a rotation body of a point mass that's half of m times omega square omega square so let back to the simulation here the ladybug is revolve and rotate about the disk the disk and let to be applying the force applying the force so this is a dynamic the dynamic one the force that accelerates the disk that revolving at a fixed axis so this is a dynamic one the dynamic okay this one is the center to our disk the center the vector which is said to be acceleration and this one is the velocity direction is at tangential velocities and angular velo angular velocities that is omega which is constant here and here here and here within constant velo velo uh, angular velocities so when to be acting a constant force okay the moving the revolving bodies well. is accelerating accelerating therefore the angular velocity is changing the angular velocity is changing so what torque mean okay and what's the moment of inertia of this revolving bodies okay that rotational bodies when the torque is acting into uh, this uh, flow okay moment of inertia that is when to be the applied uh, torque is 2 newton meter newton meter the rotation body is of is said to be what the disk so inertia of disk is 1 over 2 times m times r square when the radius of the disk is 2 meter 2 meter 2 square is 4 4 divided by 2 is 2 2 times the mass of the platform that 0 0.25 2 times 0 0.25 is 0 0.5 so less this uh, revolve about the axis of rotation is here the torque that the applied torque is nearly constant which is parallel to the time axis here and the red one this is the break the break that is zero newton and the inertia so inertia is equals to uh, the inertia of disk this one is disk that is one over two times mr square r mean two two square is four 4 divided by 2 that is 2 2 times the mass 0 0.25 that is 0 0.5 0 0.5 in between 1 and 0 and the angular acceleration is the angular acceleration here mean the angular acceleration torque is equal to the angular momentum times uh, angular acceleration torque is equal to moment of inertia times the angular acceleration when the moment of 
inertia is 0 0.5 and the torque is how much 2 newton here is equals what uh, inertia is 0 0.5 0 0.5 times 2 is how much 1 okay 1 so the uh, uh, the uh, uh, so sorry 2 over 0 0.5 that is 4 4 rad per meter square per second square this is angular acceleration angular acceleration so uh, this is all about the moment of inertia the moment